I am Osman Sattler, the speaker for our lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. Resident Evil's Leon Scott Kennedy is the Raccoon City police officer turned CIA agent who is physically versatile, displaying countless feats of strength and performance being a master marksman, martial artist, and has the ability to hypnotize women with his signature one-liners. Try using knives next time. Better for close encounters. While a lot of us don't have that last one, we can in fact train to develop the physical prowess of Leon Kennedy. How would he work out? Let's find out. As most know in this channel, we don't train only for looks and aesthetics, but to perform as well. So to create a training program that correlates to Leon Kennedy's performance, we have to become familiar with all the respective modalities seen in the game, starting with my favorite, martial arts. Leon Kennedy is a master of many martial arts, which include Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga, Russian Sistema, and Pro Wrestling. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, Leon Kennedy is second to none, using his abilities to dismantle his opponents, unarming them, and using various techniques to his infected enemies. And with the help of his peak human conditioning, he uses his signature suplex and roundhouse kicks to end those battles in a timely fashion. With a knife, Leon can wield it with little to no effort in close range battles. He is even able to combine his hand to hand fighting styles with the use of firearms, which brings us to the next feat and that is his gun wielding expertise. In terms of weapon handling, Leon Kennedy is quite the marksman, displaying countless skills in his coordination, as well as his proficiency in being able to use any gun he lays his hands on. This includes close range battles and even extends to long range pressuring gunfights. Thanks to his special ops training, he has been able to sharpen these skills and make them useful in the field of battle. Now that we have a good sense of how he performs in the video game world, Let's go over the real life training protocol and the important training targets to know in order to train like Leon Kennedy in real life. Strength and conditioning is highly important to be a physical jack of all trades. This is a key tool in bulletproofing the body to be durable and acts as the foundation to all performance. I describe this in detail in my Nightwing training video, so make sure you go check that out after this one. There are many things we want included in our strength training program. First, grip strength. Grip strength is important when it comes to replicating Leon Kennedy's performance. In fact, this pretty much helps with every modality and feat listed earlier, since it's highly important for martial arts as well as weapon handling. This way, when we fire our weapon, we have the grip strength to maintain pinpoint accuracy and avoid the painful effects of recoil. Now, before you attempt a thousand wrist curls and make it to the gun range, always remember, use firearms safely, responsibly, and legally. Real superhero training does not condone any form of thoughtless violence and usage of firearms. And also, please don't attempt a thousand wrist curls. Instead, do this. For those that aren't new to the channel, y'all know I love using my clubs. Every type of swing, rotational exercise, and stability workout using this equipment is great for grip strength as well as strength mobility. Hangs are also a great way to test your grip strength. You can also do farmer carries to build functional traps, shoulders, and abdominal muscles. Next, muscle endurance. Durability is an important factor in Leon Kennedy's training. This means being able to endure the exertion of force and power for prolonged periods of time. This will be a crucial part in your conditioning. For this segment, we will perform exercises like battle rope swings, heavy bag hitting, and kettlebell swings, all used to build cardio and muscle endurance, as well as the power to end opponents with a single strike. Muscle endurance is a great way to sharpen the tools required in mastering martial arts, as a lot of these techniques require these feats of strength. Balance and plyometrics. Leon Kennedy is shown doing lots of acrobatic and explosive moves, such as flips, jumping kicks, and more that require balance. What makes Leon's roundhouse kick so powerful is that he follows all the way through, rather than stopping at where the strike lands. In order to recover from sending our opponents flying, we want to make sure we have balance needed to recover and not fall over when doing this. Exercises that enhance power and balance will be done in the form of plyo and isolation movements, like box jumps, split squats, and even calf targeting workouts. While this seems like a lot, structuring a program based off of Leon Kennedy can be made simple and consistent. For this program, we will do three to five full body workouts per week that consist of everything we just went over. And in the end, 
we will do high intensity interval training that consists of mainly plyo workouts that target the full body. And in between our training days, we will be skills training to perform like Leon Kennedy himself. Be sure to click the link below for the Leon Kennedy training program. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more. This has been Real Superhero Training. Till next time, see you soon.